Hi everyone, thanks for watching Mocha Bees. Today we're going to be reviewing Mr. Brown Iced Coffees. We're going to be reviewing four flavors here today. They're Iced Coffee Flavor, Blue Mountain Blend, Cappuccino, and Macadamia Nut Flavor. They do have a vanilla flavor too, but I wasn't able to find it. These are made by a Taiwanese company that's been around since the 80s and they are wildly popular in Asia. They're roughly 8 ounces each, which is a really nice size and they run about 100 calories for the whole can depending on the flavor. One thing I should note is that Mr. Brown iced coffees aren't necessarily considered very high quality coffee. They're kind of just a household staple that you go to when you really need your fix. You'll find them at almost any Asian market locally. Mine carried them for about 99 cents each. So relatively inexpensive compared to similar products by Starbucks, which can run upwards of $3 a can. So without wasting any more time, let's give these a taste and see what they're like. First up, let's try the classic iced coffee flavor. Initially, I would just want to say that the aroma on these is really impressive. I expected kind of like a super sweet, very light coffee smell, but it actually smells very strong. It's very pleasant, very much like strongly brewed coffee. All right, let's give this one a taste. Honestly, I'm just going to say I'm really impressed with it. I was expecting something much weaker than what I'm tasting. Very strong coffee flavor, not overly sweet, a little on the thin side, but really no more than any other canned coffee drink I've tried. Very well-rounded flavor. Doesn't taste like instant coffee or cheap coffee. Just has a really robust flavor and a good mouthfeel. I'm really enjoying this for 99 cents. I'm just being completely honest. I'm really impressed with it. Next up, we're going to try the Blue Mountain Blend. And to be honest, I don't know what the difference is between this one and the original coffee blend. I'm assuming it's the type of coffee that's used. I tried to research it online, but I couldn't find very much. So let's give this a taste and see what the distinguishable difference is. Initially, the aroma is just not as strong as the original coffee blend. The taste is very similar. The coffee maybe is just a little more bitter, has a little more bite to it, but I find it rather enjoyable because it is just a little bit sweeter, at least to my palate. I think I enjoy the original blend more, but this one is also very good. I don't think there's a remarkable difference between the two. Next up, we're going to try the cappuccino flavor. It's a little lighter than the others, and I will say that it smells a lot sweeter. It kind of has that syrupy, sticky smell that I don't really enjoy in canned coffee drinks. So let's give this a taste. Okay, the taste is not terrible. I don't really care for the sweetness. The coffee flavor is okay, but it is overwhelmed by almost like this artificially vanilla kind of flavor. There may be like a hint of mocha in the background. It just has a kind of lingering, sticky sweet aftertaste that I don't really care for. And lastly, let's go ahead and try the macadamia nut flavor. This one seems pretty similar to the cappuccino flavor in that it does have a very strong sweet smell to it. Let's give it a taste. This one is sweet, probably just as sweet as the cappuccino flavor. It's more of a very nutty, well-rounded sweetness. It's probably not my favorite of the four, but I'd probably go for the macadamia nut flavor before I'd go for the cappuccino flavor. Of the four, I think I prefer the iced coffee and the Blue Mountain Blend. They have an intense coffee flavor. It's very well balanced between the coffee and the sweetness. It has just a hint of cream in it. Really, if you're a coffee lover, you prefer your coffee something closer to black or maybe just a hint of sweetness, these are the two you're going to want to go for. I was not a fan at all of the cappuccino flavor. I just thought it was too sticky sweet. And the sweetness was the kind that just kind of lingered on the tongue. It was a bit overwhelming, had a bit of a strong aftertaste to it. The macadamia nut was 
probably just as sweet as the cappuccino, but a different type of sweetness, far more nuttier, didn't linger on the tongue as long. Overall, it was enjoyable, but really, if you're going to go out and get any of these, I highly recommend the original or the Blue Mountain blend. So thanks for sticking around for another review. If you get a chance, check out our website at mochabees.com. Subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching.